Welcome back to day four of our Pubu series this week. Still going through the basics of the Wudang set. The last couple videos we've been going through the how-to, the basic structure, going through some of the different stance drills. Actually for this video normally we do variations. We don't have too many different variations for Pubu, but we do have other variations that we can do for the drill itself to emphasize a different detail. So before we emphasize more about the open body and just relaxed shoulders and getting this very wide posture, now I want to take one of these videos to kind of isolate the hip and talk about the hinge similar to what we did in the first week with Mob with the hip hinge, okay? So if you remember back to the first week, we did Mob and we stepped out into this video where we talked about this hinging to the side, okay? So we had this posture where you're getting the shoulder down to the knee on both sides kind of having the lower body be very, very structurally sound and having the waist being free to move side to side. Okay, so if you remember this from the first week, we're gonna use this same detail as we go down into a pubu, into a different stance. We go ahead and start, and we're just gonna step out into our mabu. Uh, again, for this one, now we can take the hands completely away because really we're gonna work on the same thing. So we're gonna put the hands right in the front and then we're gonna sink down into pubu. Okay, so we have our drop stance right away, hip hinge and sunk down. And then from here, we're really just going to sink down and have the same position. And now I really want to emphasize this one because having the body stuck to the leg is one of the biggest uh, kind of challenges of this stance because it's easy to go down once you collapse and it's very difficult to sit down on your heel. Um, so what we want to do is just keep the hands in front and any position is okay. I, I just kind of grab the own, the own hand and then just kind of use this as your angle to tilt to the side. So similar to what we did in Mabu, where we drop to the side and try to get the arms vertical, we're gonna do this to start it off. So we're aiming for the same thing. So from here in Pubu, we're gonna try to, without moving the legs, just tilt the body to the side. And really emphasize, in this case, the left leg being straight, hinging on that hip, and opening this side up as much as we can. So if we just tilt the body to the side, then we're going to push into Mabu. Right now we already have that position we did in Mabu first week, and then we can shift into Gombu. Once you get to here, we have that same thing where the shoulder's touching the knee. And then what we can do is in Gombu, we can just basically stretch the hand down and stretch the hand up. And this is going to give you a good uh, point of reference as far as if you go too far. Because if you're in here and you lean too far and your hand goes down in front of the foot, you know your balance is off. So you're going to sink back. And you can have this hand stretching straight up. Okay? Then from here, you're just going to come up. You can actually leave your hand right on the ground and then just adjust your foot in sink down that keeps this kind of open then bring your hands back up and then we can do the same thing by tilting to the side trying to stay as low as you can you'll find that when you sink your weight over it presses your hip close to the ground so if you have a ha bad habit of kind of raising the body up here this will get you more emphasizing this hip to sink down and we pivot lean into mabu and then extend into gombu and we have the same thing shoulder right to the knee and gombu you can stretch this hand down stretch this hand up then drop this side, bring the right foot in, you just walk it in, stand up, bring the hand free, and you should be right into a good poo-poo position. So when we do this movement, we want to emphasize the hip hinging, but another point to think about is that we don't have the hands out in front to reach, is we can think about we're actually hitting with the head. So we can lean to the side, and it's as if you were going to drive your head sideways straight forward. Then from here you can open, adjust down, keeping the knee open, poo-poo position, into Mabu position, into Gombu position, and open body for stability, and then repeat. Okay? So this is one version of Pubu to kind of get the hips more engaged and get some more low mobility, getting used to that uh, snake creeping through the grass posture. One other variation that we can add on to that just to kind of give you like a full practice that you can do is the same movement, but we add one more thing. So we step out, Mabu, shift Gombu, and sink down poop. So now being ready, we can look in the direction we're facing. So our straight leg here, and then we're gonna sink down, pivot through, mobble, press gumbu. We can do an open, but we can also peel the body off, go back to gumbu, and kind of stretch back. So we get a little bit of back bend, get a little opening of the hip, and then drop back down. So you have sinking forward, then pivoting up into Mabu, pushing into Gombu, you can do a check, then you can come up and drop. This is going to make sure that every time you get here, that you get a little bit of flexibility in the lower back. Going to open the chest, making sure the hip is dropped, because you don't want to have this happen where we sink through this snake position, 
we don't want to have the butt kind of come up like this. This position is wrong. So if we're here, there's not much pressure on the hips. So that's why I say afterwards, we can open and pivot. And if it is up, you will sink down like this and press. So you get that feeling of the hip here opening up. So then we can drop back down and then just smooth. We go through, marble, marble, and gumbu. Opening up, dropping the back hip, and sinking back in. And we can just repeat this a few times. Through mabu shoulder check, gombu still shoulder check, distance check, open the body, drop the back hip. And getting into some breathing, you can start to introduce that. When we lean, we can exhale. Open in, and then when we look back, exhale. We have this nice little practice where you can time each movement with a exhale, inhale, and then exhale, relax. And you can just work through this a few times, going through it smoothly, opening, and when you finish, coming up nice and soft. So there's a couple variations that you can go through I really like Pubu. This is a really nice one to kind of start high and start easing your way down into the lower postures. Take your time with the details. If you have to work on some of the squats and some of the basic postures like Mabu and Gombu, work on those to get the strength. Once you get the strength, the flexibility will come a little bit more naturally. Uh, we always think stability before mobility. So starting off with Pubu, starting off with this drop stance, make sure to set yourself a low number and work up from there but I do think that this is gonna be the, one of the ones that you will notice the most improvement with practice. So take it slow, take it low, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, check out all the information underneath. There you can navigate to the Ways of Wudam Patreon account. And by becoming a patron, you can get access to all the main channel resources around martial arts, Taoist philosophy, even Chinese music, in group classes, live streams, one-on-one -on -one courses, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So I hope you'll go check that out, and I hope to see you there. Once more, thank you for all your support. We'll see you in the next video.